very sublime. I'm so excited because it really is time for nine at nine. Nine, 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 nine. Woo! So tell us what's new. Now let me throw you a cue. It's nine at nine. nine. Uh, all right, number nine, we are bringing this one up because Dean made some yesterday and people get a little confused about this particular vegetable. The correct words are Brussels sprouts. Oh. oh. With an S, it's not oh. Brussels sprouts. Okay. It gets its name from the city of Belgi uh, in Belgium of Brussels. Oh. A recent poll in the UK found that 75% of amateur cooks say Brussel oh, without boy. the S. Oh, Amateurs. that Dean. Now, he should be fired. The script says say it however you like, but I disagree. Yeah. We gotta have rules yeah, in this society. We can't just have people pronouncing words however they see fit. Right, that's yeah. how we got there to gotta be. be some absolutes, and that's one of them. Yep. I'm a big fan of those, though. I don't usually I'm like a, a lot of vegetables. I'm a big fan when they're smothered in maple yeah. syrup and yeah. bacon. Right. and really crispy, good yeah. stuff. All right, number eight, have you ever been to the Donk House? Uh, it sounds Ooh. like a cool underground dance club, but it's actually Chicago's <laughs> uh, German-American Cultural Center right up on Western Lawrence in Lincoln Square. It's been there since 1967. You can check out the library, take German classes, see the exhibit, and dance in the ballroom. Huh. There's even an unused swimming pool in the basement. There's lots of clubs and societies that use the Donk House as their headquarters. One of those is the uh, Medieval Men's Humor Society with a ritualistic Initiation Ooh, process. Yeah, I mean, that's that's right. Right. yeah, initiation process. That's a good time. Now, mm. when you say unused pool in the base, does that mean uh, it's clean and ready to go, or does that need some? Uh, I'm just curious. I haven't that's... been there in a while and ah. have not ever seen the pool, so I'm not sure. Hmm. Head on in. Yeah, yeah. Right, check it out. Check yep. it out during our medieval men's yeah. Yeah. meeting. Yeah, bring your swimsuit. You never know. All right, number seven. A wedding photographer says there are three signs that a marriage won't last. All right. She's a wedding photographer. She says she's seen a uh, lot, oh, and these good. are th three an signs that a marriage won't last. She posted this on social media. First red flag: one of the spouses takes more than three family photos without their partner. Oh. Mm. Which, uh, if you think about it, it's like, oh, let me just get this with Grandma without you. Right. Or, you know, in case anything do, happens to you yeah. down the line, I still got these I pictures guess. with Granny. Yeah. And now the Ooh. second red flag: when the wedding party avoids talking about the other spouse as they're getting ready for the ceremony, or they don't mention them in the toast. Huh. It's only about their friend uh, and not about the great yeah, guy yeah. or girl That's they're marrying. Fair enough. Final red flag, one of the spouses spends more time with friends and family at the oh, reception yeah. than their partner. Uh, yeah. Here's the thing, by the time you find out these red flags, you're already married. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's so that's a, a bit of wow. well, you keep your mouth shut, right? I like that. Huh. Wow. Number six, this is the fifth largest statue in the world. It's the Sendai Daikanon in Japan. Wow, look at the thing. And if it's photographed or viewed from any number of angles, it takes on an otherworldly quality. Since it represents the Buddhist bodhisattva of compassion, many visitors try to capture that quality with photos Look of the that. clouds around her. Wow. That's really? pretty amazing. Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at it. A little intimidating. You always feel like someone's kind of watching over mm -hmm. you. It's really soothing music. It though. is. So, isn't that yeah. nice? Uh, and you pronounced it beautifully. You also. really did, yeah, Larry. That was a heck of a read. Are I stayed up late last one? night practicing <laughs> yeah. that. So. All right, let's see Thank if Paul you. can do the same with his read. All right, uh, number five. <laughs> Check out the stick on bra. Well pronounced. <laughs> Thank Got you. It. These were featured in Life magazine in 1949. Oh. Back then, they were advertised as both bra and bikini. You just pick, you stick oh. the cups on, and boom, you're ready to go. You can oh. enjoy tennis, shuffleboard, <laughs> even swimming without having to uh. worry about tan lines. Uh. The adhesive is waterproof, yet easy to peel off, and it offers day to night versatility. Uh. Well, what could possibly go <laughs> that wrong? Does, that doesn't seem like a lot of support well, for it, tennis. It, it, I, mean, I, would, I wouldn't know personally, but right. I'm just. We'd have to check in with the Wizard yeah. of Bra, who, uh, who was that? Yeah, did we have someone yeah, on the show? That's a fantastic bras. name. Yeah. yeah. Was it Sigourney Beaver? 
It's a different guest. It's a different guest. Yeah. Uh, number four, he's dated everyone from Ariana Grande, Kate Beckinsale, and now Kim Kardashian. But Pete Davidson can't boil water. He recently admitted that if something calls for boiled water, he uses a Keurig. He says he only makes cup of noodles using hot water from the coffee machine. Uh, the only other thing he knows how to make scrambled eggs. Uh, so why can't he cook? Davidson's answer is pretty blunt. He says it's because I'm stupid. Or he's rich and he has yeah. other people that need to cook yeah. for himself. Yeah. All right, number three, we can't get enough of Taylor Swift right now. So let's talk about her new video, I Bet You Think You Know Me. Okay. Especially, <laughs> let's talk about her stunning ball gowns in this video, shall we? Uh, yeah. The white and red gowns were made by Nicole and Felicia. It took dressmakers 1,200 hours to make them. That's hmm. a lot of hours. Yeah, you add that up. That's a lot Wowie. Of Both the white version and the red version feature long, elaborate trains, 2,500 handmade flower appliques. Look Ooh, at that. Yeah. Hmm. Wowie. Who'd she marry there? How many hours did we say that took? 1,200? 1,200 seems, hours. That seems like a it's lot. 1,200 divided by 40. Hold on, let me do some math here. 30? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that seems about right. It's a month's worth of work. Wow. Oh. Well, yeah. when you say right. it like that, it's not as impressive. Right. Kudos to you on that arithmetic, though. I would never <laughs> believe you failed the Wonderland. <laughs> I yeah, know. Math skills like I that. know. That was cool. It was they tricked us, Paul. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's we a were bomb tricked. Test. Yeah. I think these two sabotaged us. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. They're, they're sabotagers. <laughs> Number two, we told you a few months back about how some regular Joes and some celebrities who have been taking vacations to resorts in Mexico where they can smoke psychedelic toad venom. Some people oh, yeah. say it's the world's most powerful a psychoactive substance which can lead people to feel better about their mental health. The upside is that the trip is much shorter than with other drugs. You can be done with it in 20 minutes. Mike Tyson is one of those who went to Tulum to try it and he liked it so much that he's done it dozens of times. He says that it's made him more creative and focused. Also says in my trips I've seen that death is beautiful. The toad has taught me that I'm not going to be here forever. We think it goes without saying. Things can go very badly with this, so we are not making any recommendations for toad venom. All right. Number one, before Vanna White became the world's most famous letter turner, she was actually a game show contestant. Whoa. This is from 1980. And Oh, on the prize is right. Wow. Vanna was invited to come on down. One of them read her T-shirt where it says, Get Serious. And he said, I am. I am. <laughs> Vanna, what do you bid on that? $600 is her bid. I want to hear from you, Bertha. $99, and what do you think, Vanna? $425. $425. The actual retail price is $619. Oh, didn't make it up. Oh. Oh. Let's see, did you make it up there? $75. Jackson, what do you say? There's the buzzer. You've all bid too high. The lowest uh, bid is $510. Erase these bids, please. Go lower than $510, Joyce. Vanna? $495. $495. Oh, God. <laughs> no. The price is $508. You win, Richard. And she never Actual recovered. Actual retail price is six hundred and thirty-eight dollars. And oh, she never made it up. Five fifty. You know Bob rooting for. Her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Six ninety-five. She says six ninety-five. What do you say, Jackson? Ninety-five is what they have. All right, come on. Eight ninety-five. Come on, baby. Get her. This goes on forever. Eight ninety-five. You're all over bid. All over bid. Come on. He never wins. Oh, she says man. Well, there's a moral to be uh, the... learned in this, right? Is there? A loser the as a participant, price is $620. but she found Maybe. a way to still win. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Does not play. She's just, you know, if you're bad at baseball, Ooh. maybe uh, you... Tell a coach. Uh, 
<laughs> yeah. 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 Or find some other way. Yeah, an umpire or something. Well, you guys always put it in perspective for me. Well, that's just the kind of guys we are. Yeah. Yeah. Life yeah. givers. Yeah. That's the 99. That's fun. It's 99.